is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Chapter 10. Moses saw the flames of bush. He's Moses. Moses became 40 years old. Moses knew that he was an Israel living in Egypt. One day he saw an Egyptian hit an Israel. He was mad and killed the Egyptian. The Egyptian Parukhah tried to catch Moses. Moses ran away. So one day he knew that he was an Israelite. And one day he also saw an Egyptian beating an Israel. So Moses was very angry. Angry, so he killed the Egyptian. Time had, time had passed. Moses got married and became a shepherd. Moses was 80 years old. Moses was sad. He missed the people of Israel in Egypt. They were slaves in Egypt. So Moses was sad because if when he thinked about the Israel in Egypt, Moses was taking care of his sheep. He was sad because of the Israelites in Egypt. Moses sat and Moses said to himself, My people are suffering all day because of the king Egypt. Who can help them? So he was sad because of it. Egypt, their suffering. And he thought, who will help them? Moses was taking care of his sheep one day. Something strange ha thing happened. A bush was on fire, but was but it was not burning moses smoke i spoke to god spoke to moses from the bush go back to egypt bring my people out of egypt you will go in canaan as promised land to abram long ago long time ago They were surprised because a bush was burning and there was a fire on the bush but it didn't burn it was God God was telling Moses to bring the Israel out Moses was afraid he didn't want to he didn't want to do this job. He knew that Paro would 
try to kill him to encourage Moses. God also let his brother Aaron go with to go with him. Abraham spoke well. So Moses was afraid. He didn't want to do this job. Because Paro would try to kill he knew that Paro hated him and tried to kill him. Moses courageously went to Egypt. Moses was going to bring God's people out of Egypt. Moses was going to do as God said. Chapter 11, the king said, No, let my people, let God's people go. Moses said, said Moses, we went we want to live Egypt and worship God. Please let my people go now. Um, he's Aaron. He's Aaron. No, said the paro. God said you must let us go, said Moses again. I don't care what your God says," said the stubborn the paro. People made the Israel work harder. Paro, the people of Israel couldn't have enough time to eat. God, people, God told Moses what to do. Paro will be mean to you and the people, but don't worry. Then we will soon know that I am the Lord of Israel. Now Moses said, Moses said, let God's people go many times, but king didn't listen to God. No, said the king, your people have to work for me. Terrible things began to happen in Egypt. The longest river in Egypt was changed to blood. Frogs were everywhere in Egypt. Dust became grand and lots. Flies came all over. After nine terrible things, the stars one less terrible thing happened. The first son in Egypt family, including the Paro son, died. Mourning was hard everywhere in Egypt. At last, Paro called Moses and Aaron. Go, said the king. Take your people out to of Egypt. The king was not harmed. Anymore, God showed that the Israel greater than the king. Israel, God is greater than the king. So, so Paro's son died. You should listen to God. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? The next time I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye.